Hello Dream DIYers, I'm Derek. Uh, you might have seen me in an earlier video um, doing it with Saria. I'm her husband and I'm here to take over her channel. That's right, I'm taking the channel over and the best part is she doesn't know I'm doing it. And why you ask? Because it's her birthday. That's right, it's Saria's birthday. So this is a gift I'm doing for her. I'm making her a DIY on some ears I'm making her. Hours of studying. Um, about five hours to get all this done and on top of that I can't feel the tips of my fingers because I was constantly burning them while I was trying to make these ears. Hot glue guns do take skill, it's a skill I don't have so I sacrificed the pain. So um, I just want to say babe if you're watching this I love you. Um, you are the love of my life. Um, it doesn't matter how hard my day has been or how um, tired or cranky I am because when I come home I know I'm coming home to you and our beautiful daughter, Calla, and in the future, I'll be coming home to our future uh, other baby girl, um, and you all make me smile. Um, so you, without a doubt, are the best part of my life. Um, you are my other half, my better half. Beat me, um, and you mean the world to me. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and these years I made you, because you deserve so much more than I can give you. Um, I wish I could take you to Disney World every, every vacation, every break we had. Uh, but hopefully this is enough. I love you, baby. And please, everybody else, enjoy the video. Send some love her way. So let's get started. These are the materials I use. I got a ton of glue. Just use a hot glue. Nothing else you need other than a hot glue stick. These dowels, headband, ribbon, these weird things that I just use to kind of, they, they basically need something that has a hole in it and a couple other things. We'll go over them as we, as we keep going. But <clears throat> as you just kind of roll, um, that headband like I just did over the cloth to kind of measure out, make sure it can always be a little bit longer because you always cut excess. <clears throat> so what I did is instead of like gluing it little by little, I just kind of put as much hot glue on as I could and then I just re-rolled it like I did to measure it. And I kind of did it slowly to keep it as tight as possible so it was a nice um, tight fit. Um, it, some of the glue dried and then I kind of just kind of went back and filled in any spot that looked loose. Um, so yeah. So, I mean, again, you're not going to need to sew or do anything crazy. Um, you just need a hot glue gun and a ton of hot glue sticks. So, now this next part's hard as I started to kind of fold it. Um, I, those, I hate how headbands go, like, thin to, like, really thick on the top. It made it really hard to judge. But I just kind of took my time, went slow, folded one side, then folded the other. Um, the, the problem was is I kind of overfolded at some points, and I didn't get that line centered. Um, so I did end up going back over it with ribbon to just kind of to kind of clean up the bumps and stuff um, because it you know it was wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be to do. <clears throat> now, right here at the end, I'm kind of cutting off that little excess, so you don't you don't want any sticking out. It's okay um, as long as it's hidden underneath. And then I kind of I cut whatever extra was off, but I wanted to leave a little, so I kind of pinch it closed so that you wouldn't see right here. I was so tired of burning my hands that I started using the cloth to like touch it up so I wouldn't continually burn them. Um, you can already see that tips of my fingers are starting to get pink um, from doing it. Uh, but yeah, I, I got that cloth and I kind of pinched the end closed. Um, I wasn't um, completely happy with it again. Obviously my wife is like <clears throat> a ton better at this than me. Um, so I kind of, uh, when I measured the ribbon, I actually measured it on the outside. Um, the problem with that was I measured it too long, but it actually worked out okay in the end because I had a little bit of extra, so when I was done, I could kind of fold it over the top um, of the end of the, the headband. So um, you just literally just wrap it around and just kind of glue it as you go. And again, I decided to start using scissors to, to flatten it out and to thin it because I was getting so tired. Like I, this is the very beginning part, and I've burned my hands, like my fingers at least 50 times. I don't like hot glue guns. Um, I know they're super effective and awesome, but gosh, I could like right there when I moved it, I just, I just kept burning myself. I'm surprised I didn't burn myself more. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to the tutorial. Just kind of lay out some glue and then um, kind of slowly press it down. It kind of hides that seam that you created in the middle, um, so it looks a little bit better. Now, uh, the next part is you're going to want to make some cubes. If you can buy some foam cubes that are already like two by two, um, by two in inches, that's great. I couldn't find any at Hobby Lobby or the dollar store, so I saw this piece of foam and I was like, you know what? All I need is glue stick and some scissors. I can get this done. So I just kind of slowly just kind of chiseled away at the cube. Um, it actually worked out nicely. It was just under two inches. 
um, the size of the cubes uh, when I measured it with the ruler to kind of make the blocks. Um, so it actually was perfect and I split it in half and I measured the distance from the end so it would be equal. Um, so it kind of turned out to be a pretty, pretty perfect cube. Not the best, but um, perfect enough for my first time. Okay. Um, so yeah, I met, made some extra lines, just kind of went as slow as possible um, and kind of just chiseled away until it broke off. And you can see it kind of messed up right there. So I just kind of shade that off with the scissors. It chipped away really easily. You can almost just take your hand and kind of use it like sandpaper. Um, the problem um, was when a chunk was taken off, that means one side had a chunk, which was easy to chisel away, but the other side had an indent. And it actually did not, it didn't end up mattering in the end um, because the next step when we wrap these up, um, it kind of kind of cleaned up all my, my airs, all the things that look kind of gnarly. Uh, it fixed them up for me. So this next part, you're going to wrap it with some with some fabric. And if you know how to wrap a present, like a Christmas gift, then you can wrap these. It's really easy. Do that simple like fold and fold over. Now, you know, they like only use if you're using more than like three pieces of tape, you're wrong. Be wrong. I use a ton of hot glue to get that thing done. So now this next part, I wanted to add pictures uh, of people that my wife cared about, people um, that my wife knew, friends and family. Um, so I kind of cut out their silhouette. Um, I didn't use the square picture. I thought it would, I wanted y'all to see the cloth I used. That background it was a super cool Mickey and Minnie background. I wanted everybody to see that. So I cut out all their pictures um, and then I just hot glued them right on there, right here. I get burned so bad. I don't know what happens. Um, like it, like the heat, like just shot through the paper and I dropped it. It, it hurt y'all. It hurt. But um, I got it on. I was a little bit more careful and then. Just do that same step with all eight. Now, right here, we got to get this dowel through our cube so that we can have it be spinning inside of our ear. Now, those little weird beads I was telling you about, that's why they're so perfect. They're the flattest ones I could find that had a hole so that I could kind of put the stick in them to hold it in place. Um, so what I did is I measured the stick like the actual distance from the inside of the rim to the inside of the rim going across. And I did that because then I could just kind of chisel little by little off until I could fit it in. Um, so like right here this first time, like I was like, okay, this is a little bit too long. So I took it and I trimmed it up a little bit um, and I put the bead back on after I trimmed it up and I was actually able to give it in. You just kind of squeeze the edges or just kind of pull it um, to create just enough space to slide it in and look at that perfect spin. I, I'm impressed with myself. You should be too. Um, so I popped it back out and this next part was a nightmare. So I kind of did like a weird like just spin, just dug in it. If I had like an X-Acto knife or like a better tool, I'm pretty sure Saria um, has a better tool that you could have used um, to get it through that block. It would have made it so much easier. But I used my scissors. I just kind of worked it till I got a hole, just enough a hole to pop it through, and that was enough. Yeah, um, I think, yeah, I mean, it took me a while to get it through. But once I got it through, it worked nicely. Uh, make sure you kind of get the ends with some hot glue, um, kind of fortify it so it doesn't slide up and down, kind of find the height, and then reinforce the glue, and look at that spin. That spin is fantastic. I love it. Um, so now we're going to take those ears, and we're going to put them on my headband. I probably should have used the template. Um, Sari is so good about giving you all templates to make the ears, uh, the templates to where you place them. I probably should have used one. Um, hopefully, I did an okay job. Um, from there, you're just caking on hot glue. You want to keep those ears in place as best as you can, and to do that, you got to cake on hot glue. Tip, go, go slow. Don't rush. Take your time. I rushed. Um, hot glue dripped on me. Hot glue got everywhere because I was just kind of squeezing, squeezing, caking, and it would just drip off the side, so I do a lot of cleanup. Um, but once I figured that out, I just kind of went slow, blew on it, let it dry, um, and then added more, let it dry, so I'd make sure that thing is really in place because they're supposed to spin. So when people are spinning them, you don't want them to go flying off. Um, after that, start adding your flowers. Um, it doesn't. That's why it doesn't matter how much glue you put on because you're going to hide it all with the flowers. I found these awesome, um, pretty cheap. They're like $4. They're like 50% off at um, Hobby Lobby each. So I bought two of them for about eight. Um, and I just used that to kind of hide all that glue mess. Now, I did make another mistake. Um, I wasn't thinking ahead, um, and I didn't realize if I do it too high, it can actually mess with the spin of my cubes. So either two things, either kind of glue them further down or off of the ear, or what I ended up doing is going back and kind of taking the pedals, folding them over 
um, the bottom part of the ear and hot gluing them to the bottom. So it would create just enough space um, to keep a nice spin. Um, it took me a while. You might, you might just take some tri um, scissors and kind of trim off some of the petals too um, if you need to. Um, and then don't forget to glue the sides. Um, you want to kind of get all that space and hide much of the imperfections um, from the hot glue as you can uh, so they look good. Um, and my, my color scheme worked perfectly. The flowers had like silver and white in it. It was, it was awesome. So that's my completed ears. As you can see, they got still got some pretty good spin. I had to go back and fix that one up, but um, it spins perfectly now. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit of that uh, tutorial. I hope I did. It was my first time making ears, so um, please don't be too harsh on me. Um, feel free to subscribe or do your thing, whatever you're supposed to do. Comment. Uh, please, please comment and tell Sarah a happy birthday. Um, she loves doing this stuff for you, um, and I did not. So I appreciate her um, and all that she does for our family. But um, now it's time to explain why I made these ears. So if you're watching and you're not Saria, then you don't need to. I'm not going to explain anything um, further that you need to know. Um, but this part is for you, Saria. I'm going to explain why I made these ears for you. These ears are for your birthday. But they're not just for your birthday. They're for your birthday challenges. There's eight people on here, friends and family that you care about and care about you that have so graciously volunteered their time to help. Thank you. If you're on here, um, Miss Joyner, Allison, Rowan, Miss um, Boone, uh, my brother Christopher, um, and your brother and sister Asia and Luke, thank you if you ever watch this for helping out. I know you didn't have to, um, but thank you for making Sarah's birthday a little bit more special. And you have to look at those pictures um, and contact each one of them. And each one of them has a task that you have to complete. And every time you complete one of the tasks fully and correctly, they will give you a clue, a part of a clue, I guess. And then you got to put all those parts together to come find us. You can come find us and we can have some fun on your birthday. So um, please do that. And please, 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 um, please record as much as you can. Um, if you can get recordings of what people said and you can record yourself trying to kind of figure out just little snippets whenever you have time throughout the day, whenever you have a little bit of free time throughout the day, like your lunch break to do this, uh, record yourself. We want to see how well you did with the task and figuring out what the clue was. So um, again, happy birthday, love. Um, I love you so much, Scuttlebutt, and I can't wait till you come find me. So um, until then, later.